this 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 says it all everything i'm going to say in this video is is perfectly summed up in this right here i'm feeling what i felt when caden was born shortly after which is a uh can i can i do this can i continue to do this feeling it's it's not great it's not great it doesn't feel amazing and my motivation is just really low and it's because I got, I got a lot of new things going on I mean having adding a second kid to the atmosphere of of my life is a lot there's a perfect ebb and flow to my desire to continue to pump out a video every single day it's not that it's hard it's not that it's something I, I can't do it's just f f right now and in times in the past it's something that doesn't feel fun it seems like it gets harder and harder as my life gets more and more complicated and I know that this feeling is temporary because it always has been but when you're in that moment when you're in that era it feels uh, it, it, it feels like it's harder to get out of every single time. Looking back on it though, when I'm back in the high, it doesn't seem like it was very hard. I, I guess I'm just sort of reflecting because I, I just don't know what else to make today. Because every time I feel like I can't do this anymore, there's always like this sort of renaissance at some point, can be weeks, months, where I realize that I just have to rethink what I'm doing and I can find joy in it again. I'm not depressed. That's, I'm sad for it. I'm sad for feeling like this, but I'm not sad in general, so it's okay. I, I think it's uh, inappropriate for me to not acknowledge this. I think it's part of the project. I think it's definitely part of the challenge. It's what makes it a challenge to continue to do a video every single day, year in and year out. And um, I guess it's, it's always sort of a, a internal argument with myself as to, is this something that's helping me grow? Or is this something that is just a slog and is in inevitably going to hurt my love of the game or to hurt my creativity? Yeah, but then I look at other content creators and other artists and creative people and they just take long periods of time or they don't do anything. So it's not like I don't, it's not like I've not created a video in years that I'm not proud of or happy to have made or that is meaningful to me. It's just, I have to live. I have to, I have to document the moments that aren't fun. I can't just go on a hiatus because I'm making something every single day. I don't have that option if I want to keep the streak. It's like keeping a diary. You know, you feel how long you're marking, how long you're in this, in this state of, low motivation and low creativity and when you're in that you're constantly just reflecting on that piece and so it makes it feel like you're uh, stuck and that you'll never get out of it i have to give myself time i have to be forgiving to myself which is something that is hard to do frankly because i'm kind of tough on myself and because i haven't done anything with this that i in a, in a while that feels like I'm doing something that's growing me um, it, it feels almost like a punishment and that's a horrible place to be but those punish those moments of punishment I, th I think do give me something but I'm just not in a place where I can appreciate it right now like skipping a week of any kind of exercise in that week you feel like I'm never gonna work out again I'm never gonna run again but then I do three runs next week and I'm like, oh yeah, I can see how small that was in the grand scheme of things, that week of not running. But when you're in that week, it feels like you're in the rest of your life. If I look back at last summer, same thing, went through it. Um, if I look back when I first had Caden, I really, really seriously considered quitting doing the dailies. And I'd be lying if I said that thought hasn't pa passed through my head in the last couple weeks, but um, I just have glaringly my ship is just rocking back and forth and so it feels very out of control and so once again i have to wait till that till i can right my ship find the routine with having a newborn and a toddler um and making sure that i can be the best for them first and then also the best partner for my wife first and the dailies just aren't first 
And then there's other things standing in line, you know. And I just don't know where everything fits. And I don't know how to balance the the effort levels. But it'll get ba- I'll get back. I'll find it. I'll find it again. I just have no way of telling myself when that will be right now. You know, I, I, I look back on the last seven years very fondly. I'm glad I didn't stop at two years, even though there have been many, many times where I wanted to. I'm glad I never gave in to those moments. And so even though now I feel like I really want to stop doing this and I want to give myself freedom from the chains of doing this every day, uh, I also can switch gears and look at, well, these vi- this video doesn't matter. Yesterday's video doesn't matter. The day before his video doesn't matter. But another year from now, these videos will matter because they got me to continuing the streak a year from now. Does that make sense? And so I'm not proud of this video, but I'll be proud of eight years. There is and should be a time where I stop doing this because at a certain point it will get to be more work than it is joy and I don't think it's there yet even though right now it feels that way I don't think it actually is in the grand scheme of things but I I I mean I don't really ask you of anything you're not paying for this content you're not uh, being forced to watch this but uh, I guess you know I ask you as a way of asking myself to uh you know give me leniency to give me grace as I make some probably pretty dog water videos as I have and will continue to do here hopefully not consistently this feels nice when I first started recording this I had a really hard time even talking about it positively and now I feel I feel much better thank you sorry please don't take this as a bummer it's not a bummer it's just a reflection Like I said, blown off steam.